What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Satori Wealth Channel. My name is Shiraz Ahmed and in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down the major financial highlights from June of 2024, featuring key updates from the Bank of Canada, a surge in tech stocks, and the latest trends in the Canadian housing market. And let's also not forget insights from the recent Biden-Trump presidential debate. So let's get started. Now to kick things off, the Bank of Canada cut its key interest rate from 5% to 4.75%, which is the first reduction since March of 2020. Governor Tiff Macklem cited cooling inflation, setting confidence in approaching the 2% target inflation. Governor Tiff Macklem cited cooling inflation and confidence in approaching the 2% target. Inflation dropped down to 2.7% in April and GDP grew by 1.7% in Q1 of 2024. Now, major banks lowered their prime rates to about 6.95%. The outlook for economic impact is that more rate cuts are likely possible, but the bank Bank of Canada will be very cautious and measured. Cuts are aimed to prevent recession and support homeowners with variable rate mortgages, for example. Experts like Royce Mendez and Andrew Grantham predict more cuts, while others see gradual rate cutting cycles. So the Bank of Canada really moves and ultimately is aiming to balance easing inflation with avoiding a potential economic downturn. Economists expect further rate cuts potentially in July if inflation continues to decline. Now May's data is expected to show a continued slowdown. The Bank of Canada is being cautious, meeting by meeting, approach really driving by the lower core inflation and modest grocery cost increases. Now, the Bank of Canada was the first G7 central bank to cut rates followed by the European Central Bank. All right, now off to the stock market. So the US tech stocks have really been leading market gains, driving really by AI excitement. The S&P 500 hit an all-time high and tech earnings grew 23% year over year in Q1 of 2024. The sector maintains high profit margins and strong free cash flows, supporting really AI investments. Now, that being said, tech momentum could falter if AI-related earnings start to disappoint or regulatory changes may occur. Now on to the Canadian housing market. May of 2024 saw a quiet month for Canadian housing market. Home sales dropped by about 0.6% from April and new listings increased by about 0.5%. The Bank of Canada's recent rate cut is expected to boost some future activity. The national home sales were still down about 5.9% year over year. The average sale price was about $699,117, down 4% from May of 2023. Inventory levels have also risen to about 4.4 months, which is the highest since 2019. All right, now over to the US presidential debate between Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump as they faced off in their first debate in 2024. Now, this debate focused really on their fitness for office rather than really their policies. Biden unfortunately had a bit of a slow start, stumbling through answers and raising concerns about his mental acuity. Now, despite this, Biden picked up momentum attacking Trump as a convicted felon, for example. Trump's performance was more restrained, focusing on the economy and immigration. Now, new rules ensure a cleaner debate, but moderators really provided minimal pushback on falsehoods. Biden pledged to reinstate Roe versus Wade and raise taxes on the wealthy, while Trump defended his tax cuts and supported continued military operations. Democrats were concerned about Biden's performance, while Republicans celebrated this as a win for Trump. The information in this video is for general information purposes only, and should not be considered to be advice for financial or political nature. Please consult a qualified financial professional for personalized recommendations. The political content is not intended to provide a summary of events and should not be interpreted as an endorsement or critique of any individual political party or a candidate. All right, now that's a wrap for June, financial highlights. Now, whether there are changes in interest rates, market trends, or even political debates, these are developments that really gonna impact us all. If you found this recap helpful, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Please keep watching and until next time, please stay safe out there. Bye for now.